Go. Welcome back to another video. Today's scenery, we're on the river. Beautiful day today. Uh, just went uh, winter yesterday, but we've got a beautiful 23 degree day. Not many clouds in the sky. Um, we actually have a new mascot for the channel. This is Myla, her first time on the jet ski. She's a little British bulldog. Uh, she's been going good and she's just keen to eat the food. So the food we're eating today, we're gonna have a pork belly on a rotisserie powered by the river, hopefully. If it works out, it'll be hectic. If it doesn't work out, it'll not be, not be very good because we'll all be hungry. But we'll see how we go. We're nearly there. Punch down a little bit more. Beach is just there we're going to. And we'll see how we go, eh? Hello. So, so we've just pulled up to the spot. There's a couple, couple other people here in a boat, but where I was planning to do it, like right down near where the jet ski is, is not flowing enough. So we walked upstream a little bit. We found this little place. You can already see the water's flowing a little bit here. So this. This beach here might be the go for it. It's a bit uh, a bit shady here, so a bit cold, but we'll have the fire cranking, so it should be all right. Now we have the job of carrying all that stuff from over there to here, through this freezing water. To walk through the freezing water there, up there, and bring it down here. Not keen, not keen. We've just moved all that stuff down. Esky, two bags. Gonna go on a firewood collect now. Abby's actually on that duty right now. And I'm gonna go try and find sticks to uh, do the uh, rotisserie. So we sort of need two V sticks, like this. One long one, and then a couple shorter ones for the paddles. Uh, so we'll go give that a suss now. What's your job? Just run around and look cute? Sweet, you do that. Go, go. <laughs> just, oh, just makes it up the hill. Good job. Oh, I got that. All right, we're just getting the fire going now. Getting a little six on. We've got sort of the base of the um, rotisserie going there. So we've got the first Y up. And then we've got this big one over here. I'll give you a better look. So we've got this Y here. So this one's gonna go in the water. And then we've got this one. And then the long stick with the rotisserie on it is gonna sit in the wire. Pork's gonna be over this nice hot fire. What do you think of that? Mimi, what do you think? You froth that? Nice. All right, this is where we're at now. We've got the fire going. We've got this wire stick sitting here. So we'll have a stick sitting like this, where my hand is. Pork will be right here. So now we've got to get a long stick to go from here to here, and there'll be another wire, which is right here. Then we've got to get the right height for this one. Um, so we've got to make that work somehow. I'm not the best carpenter, but we'll see how we go. <laughs> this is where we're at now. Starting to get on my nerves a little bit. So we've got long stick with the paddles on it got the better beers to polish off six pack last night shout out inspired unemployed got the two wire sticks set up there got the big log on the fire ready to get it nice and hot um so just on the finishing touches now just polishing it off so 
Say hi, guys. We are at location number two. There is some faults here, hey Mav. What's what's wrong with this one? Just everything. I don't know. Stronger current here, but sticks aren't long enough for something. Alright, I've just moved all our stuff down to the new spot. It's a bit further down the river. This way's in the sun. Miles a bit scared. How's she scared? She had to swim across this last time and I don't think she wants to swim again. She's not that buoyant. <laughs> <laughs> oh, she's going for off the rock. Bye bye, come on. Oh. What's she gonna do? <laughs> Westpac helicopter. Hi mate. Give me the swim. Nice. You made it. Just. Yeah. Oh. 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 So we've got to get a thinner stick for the main shaft and then we've got to make the cans more of a paddle shape. They're not catching enough water with them just folded over so we might cut them in half and get double the uh, surface area in the water and hopefully it'll start swimming. Because there's a fair bit of water swinging down here. That's all falling through. We're getting pretty hungry so we're going to try and do this and then we've got a kilo of chicken wings for a little entree. So we'll chuck them on the fire. We've got to get another fire going first as well. So pretty much back to square one, which is not, not that good. But when you're out here in the bush and you want to do these kind of crazy things, that's what you've got to put up with. Isn't that right, Milo? Is that right? <laughs> oh, Abby's back on the fire, <laughs> fire making duties. How are you feeling right now? Uh, starving. Starving, she says. You frothing the experience, but. I prefer to just go buy some food, but <laughs> <laughs> here we are. <laughs> <laughs> Miles dropping. She's exploring. Never seen her with this much energy. Where's she gonna go with? Really? Sniff around. All right, it's currently 1.33. We got here about 11.30, so that's two hours. Still haven't got the rotisserie going. She's nearly there, not really, but we're getting a bit hungry, so we're onto the chicken wings now. We've got a kilo of chicken wings. Looking pretty good. Shout out to uh, Jack Hyde, AKA Buff, for hooking this up from the butcher. Here are the chicken wings that I just cooked. Maverick is still working on this. Um, approximately six and a half hours later, yeah. we still have no pork belly. So, food review, Mav. Does that look yum? Pretty good. You definitely taste the uh, smoke out of the fire. Tastes like I'm just eating the fire, really. <laughs> what? But chicken's tender. 
Sauce is good. Thanks, Buff. Um, That's alpha. We'll donate that. Burnt alpha oil on them, so that brings the score down a little bit. But I'd probably give it about a 7 out of 14. Oh, wait. I mean a bit. <laughs> I mean a 7 out of like 11. <laughs> All right, I'm coming to you with uh, bad news. Been working on the rotisserie for like a solid like four hours now. Uh, so uh, rotisserie is a no-go today. Attempt one, failed. So we're on to the pork now, season it up. Got some barbecue mafia. The snitch. Bold with a touch of heat. Um, so we're rubbing that on now. You, you just want to pat it in. You just want to think if you were the meat, um, you just want to be like how you would want to be seasoned. So then we bring that over here. And we've got the hot plate with some hot coals under there. You just want to slap that right on there. There we go. And we'll come back in about three and a half hours. You're joking. <laughs> nah, Jake. Hopefully it cooks pretty soon because it's currently 2.30, sun goes down at five, so we don't have a whole lot of time and we're pretty hungry. So, see how it goes. Currently on the on the pork cook up, a bit upset. Hopefully the pork cooks quick. Looks good. <laughs> Can't see. So much smoke. Oh my. Alright, welcome back. We're finally on our last uh, cooking arrangement, if you call it that. So we just got our manual spit. Um, fire's nice and stoked up. Bring you down to bring you down to my level here. So we've got the pork here, rotate every 15 minutes. Um, nice and hot there. We've got the bottom a little bit crispy. We tried cooking it on the uh, grill plate before, but it just wasn't working, so we're going to the manual spit version, so we'll see you in about an hour when it's all, all said and done, and we'll show you how it looks. Oh, we just had a big dilemma. <laughs> so the stick that was Holding the um, holding the pork over the fire, <laughs> caught fire. So then I picked it up <laughs> and tried to like extinguish the fire. And as I blew it out, the snap is. Sorry, I'm losing my words here. <laughs> the stick snapped, and then I caught the pork in the uh, in the tongs like this. <laughs> Nearly lost the whole thing. Fire out! I've got to change it to a new stick now. All right, we've moved on. We've actually had a lot of dilemmas in this video. Um, can't win them all, we haven't won any today. Um, but this is where we're looking at now. So we've got that still the same wine stick. And then running it across, and we're using the paddle. So recycling, paddle didn't work, so now we're using it for a second uh, second thing. And then we've got the pork cooking. That's where it was cooking on the other side. Got a little bit burnt, but crackling's looking good. Give that underside and the sides a little bit of a cook and should be good. Isn't that right, Mimi? Are you tired? Are you tired? Like what do you smell like? Oh, thank you, thank you. <laughs> Alright, been at it all day. And haven't made much progress on anything, so... To make this video a little bit more interesting, I've got a product review. So this is a live straw. Seen it on sale at uh, Anaconda, 30 bucks I think it was, so I picked it up. I'm meant to be able to drink out of any like fresh water source and it's good to drink straight out of there. So we're going to give it a whirl today, first first, first go on it. Oh. All right. You just want to get down on your knees? Not bad. Tastes bloody good. Well, I have to give that a 10 out of 10, that one. That's incredible. 
I've been caught a couple of times drinking drinking water out of a river like this and I thought I'd be fine and then I was vomiting for the next week so it's definitely a game changer. Definitely add this to the uh, pack every time I go out. All right, we've got our first wildlife for today. Found this little skink running, running through the sand. Picked him up and he bit my finger, but didn't really hurt like he's a little fella. <laughs> we'll let him off for another day. All right, this is us getting the pork off the, uh, off the fire. The last thing that could go wrong if we drop this right now, so hopefully we don't. Alright, where do I, where do I put the pan? I don't know, it's going to get sandy. I need like two sticks. Oh, I've got a perfect idea. Oh no. Oh. I don't even be able to see it. Hey. I don't know if you can see that, but that's where we're going to put That's the timer telling me it's done. So, get it off. Alright, let's go. I don't know how I'm going to get it off. Do you want me to hold it? Can you get off Do you the pick off? No, we'll pick up the stick and just, um, just check it. We'll give you a close up on it. We've got the outside a little bit burnt, but we did have to cook it in quick time, so not really worried. Abby's trying to rip off some of the crackling. Here she goes. No, it's gonna be so hot. Straight off the fire. It gives the A-OK. -okay. Mm. Is that worth uh, sitting around here for six hours? Seven. <laughs> no. <laughs> Could have done this at home. Well, we'll cut into it. We'll give yeah, it away. Eh? That was so good. Oh my God. <laughs> That's incredible. I love that word. I'm spewing the rest of it's burnt black. <laughs> <laughs> There's only about four bits of crackling on there because we burnt the rest, but that little bit, that's good. Hopefully the inside's good. Okay. Love my... Alright, Mimi. <sighs> Babe, Mala smells Mala. it. <laughs> please be cooked, please be cooked. <gasps> yes! It's cooked, yes, that makes me so happy. Get the uh, hand behind, like the, uh, wait, I don't know how to do it. <laughs> wow, that looks so good. Look at the juices in it. Stoked. This is first, first try of the uh, pork. Oh, pot. Not good, Marla, any yet? Oh, it's so hot. Oh, oh. Shit. give it to me. It tastes so good. <laughs> One for me, one for Mimi. Been a good girl. Listen to the crunch. Bit of ASMR. <coughs> Alright, just punched back from camp, so there was about a K up the stream there. Then this runs into the main river. Mimi's all strapped in, ready to go. You ready to go home now? Have a sleep? <laughs> Side eye. <laughs> yeah, punch back down the river, head home. <laughs>